Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you flash new code onto Fed3, um, how to set up your computer to do that, and then how to do it. So Fed3 uses the Arduino programming language, so the first thing we're going to do is go to arduino.cc in a web browser, click on software, and then I have a Windows computer, so I would click um, download this Windows 7. You can support them um, with a donation if you'd like, or you can click just download, and then you're going to save that and install that. I've already got this um, Arduino, the latest version of the development environment or IDE installed, so I'm just going to load that up. So there's a couple things you need to know about the Arduino programming language before you'll be able to flash code onto Fed3. The first is that Arduino is a brand name. Um, they're an organization that makes this development environment that many, many people use to, to code their microcontrollers. They also sell microcontrollers, um, their own hardware boards, um, like the Arduino Uno that you've probably heard of. So when you download the IDE for the first time, it's only going to be able to flash the Arduino brand boards. If you go into Tools and click Board, you'll see that I have some things from a company called Adafruit, which is what we're going to install to, to flash Fed, um, some things from a company MCCI, Tiny Circuits. None of these come with the Arduino IDE. Um, so you'll have to flash, you're going to have to add these capabilities. Fortunately, it's pretty easy. If I go back to the web browser, we're now going to search for the microcontroller um, that's inside the Fed3, the Adafruit M0 Ada Logger. If I click on this first link, it brings me to the Adafruit page. Um, this is the product that's inside of Fed3. You can see it right there. And it um, costs $20. That's how much the board costs. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. We use it in a lot of things. If you scroll down, you'll see that they have a tutorial. And in this tutorial, it will tell you how to set up the Arduino IDE in order to use this board. And this isn't specific for Fed3, but, um, any, but because Fed3 uses this board, we need to follow these instructions. They're going to tell us to install the Arduino IDE, which we just did. And then this part's a little bit interesting. You can read it, but basically we have to tell the IDE how to get the board definitions so that we can um, communicate with it. And it tells you to go to Preferences, look at this um, pop-up copy this link right here to a JSON file and put it into preferences and that will tell the Arduino IDE where to go um, on the internet to get the board definitions to flash this data logger. So I'll just show you it. Um, I've already set this up so mine will go a little bit quicker. I'm going to go to the back to preferences and then down here we have these additional boards managers and you'll see that I have the first one is this Adafruit link, this adafruit.github.io I mean, it tells you where to get the board definitions for all of the Adafruit um, boards that they sell. And they sell like 50 or 100 or something, a huge number of boards. So once you've done that, you can go to the Boards Manager. And you can also follow along right here. It talks you through it. It's really great. Um, it'll explain exactly what we're doing here, that you open the Boards Manager. We're going to install SAMD support, which is the chip type. That's um, on this microcontroller, and then we're going to install the Adafruit SAMD support, which is some um, customizations that Adafruit has made for their own boards. So if I go into the board manager and I type SAMD, we have the Arduino SAMD boards. Um, I've already got that installed. And then we've got the Adafruit SAMD boards, which I've also got installed. Um, so you're going to click install on both of these. And um, just a word of warning, it takes about 10, maybe 15 minutes even to install these. Um, they're quite big. So click install, go get a coffee, um, and come back. You need both of those. So the next thing you need is the Fed3 library. This is the code that actually runs on the Fed3. This is the GitHub site um, where you can look at the library, look at the source code. Um, it has a wiki that will tell you a bit about the library and especially how to customize things. But now we're going to install it with the Arduino IDE. Arduino uses um, or has a package manager which they call libraries. You can find it in here. It says include library, manage libraries. And this lets you install code from many, many, many devices, many things you can buy online, um, register their code with Arduino. Um, so you can you know, go through here and see literally hundreds of libraries. These are all different pieces of code that people have written that you can download. If I type in Fed3, it tells me that I can install version 1.11, which is the latest as of this video. If I install it, it tells me it needs a lot of other libraries. And we're just going to say install all. And these are all of the other dependent libraries that Fed3 needs to run. So to run the, you know, run the screen, um, run the, the clocks inside, all of this requires other code. 
Um, but luckily this library manager will do it all automatically. The place it puts these all will be in your computer. If you go to Documents, Arduino, Libraries, you'll see that it just installed all of these. Um, and you can take a look at it if you want. It's open source. The source code for the Fed3 library is in these two files. Um, so you can do this for any library, but you can go through and you know check out how these functions are working. Um, and that's kind of the beauty of open source software. All right, so we've installed Arduino, we've installed the Adafruit board definitions, we've installed the Fed3 library, and we're finally ready to flash code onto Fed3. If you open up the bottom of the Fed3 device, you'll see that there's a micro USB port on the inside right on that Ada logger board. Um, that's the port we're going to plug into. So plug into that with the micro USB cable into your computer. Um, the port over here is just for charging the battery of the device. You can't use it for flashing new code. There's then a little button right by the micro USB port, a tiny little button, and you're going to double click it which will put the Fed3 or the Ada logger board into bootloader mode, meaning it's ready to accept new code. And you can tell if you did the double click correctly because there's a red light on there which will sort of start breathing. So if you've got that, we're now ready to send it some new code. Because we put the library in, if I go to Fed File Examples Fed3, we see that we have a lot of example programs. And I'm just going to flash one just to show how this works. Let's flash the fixed ratio one. Um, so this is the typical um, simple fixed ratio one. We want to go to tools, make sure the board is correct. So we installed all these. We want to click the Adafruit SAMD Feather M0. And then we want to go to the port. And if you got it into bootloader mode correctly, it should pop up and tell you which port the Feather M0 is on, which is 83 for me. And then this little right arrow will send the code over. So this is now going to compile. And when it's done, um, it'll flash the code over, and then we have successfully put new code onto Fed3. And there we go. We can see Verify Successful, and we've got a program running on the Fed3. So that's all for this video. Um, hopefully that helped to get the computer set up and uh, able to flash code onto Fed3.